on in. Oh, well, Jane. Yeah. Thanks for coming over so quick and so early. Sure, it sounded important. What's up? Yeah, uh, I started thinking about that conversation we had yesterday. And? And I thought maybe, uh, you might have a point. That there might be some tie-in between Babs, Ronnie Washington, and Miriam's kidnappers. Yeah, just a sec. Yeah. Take a look at this. Now, that's the only thing that they've sent us all along. Now, we know that Miriam was alive as of the date on that paper she was holding, but whether or not she still is, well, I have my doubts. Well, let's certainly hope that she is. I've got to find Babs, Harold. Yeah, well, I figured you'd press for that. Well, I'd like to show her this. If she could recognize this room as being one of Ronnie Washington's hideouts, I don't know, it might lead us to Miriam. Yeah? Yeah. If this is one of his hideouts. Possibly. Well, looky here. You know, Nancy, you could be in big trouble for this. Trouble, huh? For what? Dropping my purse? No. Illegal snooping. What'd you hear? What I may or may not have heard was purely accidental. Now look, would you please get rid of Mr. Redlin here so I can speak with you? Good morning, Nancy. Planning your strategy to get me kicked out of my house? The only person that's going anywhere is you, Nancy. I'm not going anywhere. If I have to wait in that other office all day, I'll stay here. I'll see you. You may wait out there just as long as you like. I'm not kidding you. I'll wait there, and every time that door opens, you'll hear from me. All right. In the interest of my sanity and my client's hearing, I'll see you, but only after I'm finished with Mr. Redlin. Well, that's more like it. I'll be waiting. Yeah. I'll be waiting too, sweetheart. I mean, what I got in mind is against the law. You think she heard anything, Harold? No. No, if she'd heard anything, she would have had some comeback for that. Up and down, we just, we better kind of play it cautious, though, to be on the safe side. Now, look, you'll find Babs at Walter's restaurant over in Fairmont. It's just across the street from Mercy Hospital. Well, where will she be if she's not working? I don't know. Uh, I think she's staying at some, uh, some of my boarding house in the neighborhood. Ask the manager of that place, he'll probably tell you. And look, 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 if, uh, if, if uh, he won't, you just, here, give him this, and he'll uh, probably no, open no, up. No, I can't take that. Now, come on, Gene, don't argue with me. If you don't need it, give it to Babs, and tell her I said hello. And, yeah, t -t 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 tell her I miss her. All right, sure thing. I'll talk to you later, uh huh? Hey, Gene, yeah. don't you let anybody see that picture except Babs. All right, all right. Well, Nancy, what a surprise. Where's Babs? Babs who? Don't play cute with me. I heard you talking about her when you, I was standing by the door. Oh? Well, then why don't you tell me where she is? Well, unfortunately, I didn't hear that part. Tough break. I guess we can't all have good days all the time. Harold, look it, I've got to know where she is. Sorry. Why is it so important anyway? Because I have filed an assault charge against her. Really? Yes, really, and she's not going to duck out of this this time. Well, if uh, that's all you wanted. Yeah. And to let you know that that uh, cozy little relationship you have with that old... Uh, hey, watch it. Well, just to let you know that it's very quickly coming to an end. You ever find yourself in the middle of someone else's problems when you didn't want to be? 
Uh, you have just given the job description of my function in this household the last umpteen years. Oh, yeah? Well, more or less. Yeah. No, I guess you're right. So you're gonna just let that hang there, aren't you? Huh? Yeah, because I know you won't. Am I that predictable? Reasonably so. Mom, me predictable? I got the charm of uh, Clark Gable, the irascibility of Paul Newman. Predictable, huh? Oh, well, it's good that you remind your mother of those attributes now and then. Especially since we're prone to be nearsighted when it comes to our own offspring. Thanks. So, um, whose problems are you in the middle of? Well, I guess in the middle isn't exactly right. I'm more of a sympathetic observer, you know, a sounding board for Marianne. She and Russ, oh, she misses him, you know. Oh, yeah. It's really a mess, Mom. Mm-hmm. But you know what? I think that she did make the right decision. At least for the time being, until Russ can make a spiritual commitment. Oh, come on. Russ, that'll be a cold day in August. No, I know where she's coming from. I, I know why I sympathize with her. It's because she loves him. Yeah, well... And she wants to do the best thing. So did Lori. But eventually she saw she had to break off her engagement with him. I guess so. So what would you say if I was seriously involved with someone that didn't believe the way we do? You know, about God and everything. Well, you know I wouldn't be wildly enthusiastic about it, but uh, your father and I raised you and Lori to make your own decisions. Why? Is this your way of making an announcement? Should that be any different than anything else? Show me favor, O oh God, and save me. Hasten to help me, O Lord. Let all who seek my life be brought to shame and dismay. Let all who love to hurt me shrink back disgraced. Let those who cry hurrah at my downfall turn back at the shame they incur. But let all who seek thee be jubilant and rejoice in thee. And let those who long for thy saving help ever cry, all glory to God. But I am poor and needy, O God. Hasten to my aid. Thou art my help, my salvation. And Lord, make no delay. Amen. Are things with uh, you and Vicky more serious than you've let on? Not really, no, no. We're about as compatible as Russ and Marianne. But you know that magic relationship that I've been waiting for? I'm just kind of wondering when it's going to happen. I think it's what my psych teacher calls an adult adjustment reaction. Well, I don't suppose it would do any good to remind you that you're only a freshman in college and that there are more important things to worry about. No. Yeah, I didn't think so. Mm. Well, listen, on that happy note, I've got to get to work. Would you take care of the dishes, please? Oh, thanks a lot. You were always great in a crisis, Mom. Look, call me when there's a real one. Right. Hey, don't worry. Love can't be far away for somebody with the charm of Clark Gable, the irascibility of Paul Newman. Charm of Mickey Mouse. Ah, the sophistication of Huckleberry Hound. Technique of Charlie Brown. Ah, ah. Agency. 
The check's in the mail. <laughs> Wait a second, I don't hey, look, think so. Just can't do hey, just that. Just let me in, okay? Just... Well, I hope this doesn't take too long. Don't worry, I'm going to get in and out of here as quickly as I can. Wait a minute, don't I know you from someplace? Maybe. Look, just don't change the subject, okay? Yeah, okay, look, I spoke with Mr. Hines at the phone company, and he I'm said... I'm not from it... the phone company. Well, look, I have an arrangement with Kingsley Gas and Electric. Kingsley I've Gas always... and Electric, look. How many people do you owe money to? Wait a minute, where are you from? A little matter of... $500. I trust you do remember taking out a loan with us? Yes, I remember. Good. It says here it's not due for another week. Consider this a courtesy call. First time customer, my boss wants to make sure that you understand the terms. Wait a minute, I know where I know you. You used to work at Kingsley uh, General, didn't you? Yeah. And I got such a good reputation for coming down hard on people that I took up a new line of work. You used to be Lori's boyfriend as well. I mean, the mustache threw me. Well, don't let it throw you too much. I got a job to do here. Yeah, well, look it, I was going to call you guys anyway, so it's a good thing you came by. I need an extension. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> you can't do that. Well, wait a minute, you haven't even heard my reasons. Yes, I have about a million times. Look, this is legal and binding. $500 next week plus interest. Interest? A fee for taking you on when no bank would touch you. How much? Altogether, you owe us $600. $600 in such a short period of time? That's right. Well, wait a minute. I don't even have the original 500 let alone 600 Huff, you just get it somehow. Get all of it. the easiest to get along with. How would you like to go to dinner with me tonight, huh? Oh, oh I'd like that. Um, but I, I'm sorry. I've, I've already made plans. Oh, sure. With, with Mother and Amber. <laughs> That's great. But little Stacy. Who else but you would take the first step? Oh, Danny, I love you. Oh, I've missed you so much. Please forgive me for all the pain I've caused you. Alex. Well, almost. Oh, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, suppose I'd be too obvious in asking you what you're doing in Alex's office alone? Well, I suppose it would be too obvious to say I was waiting for Alex? <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe not. <laughs> well, he should be back momentarily. Oh, gee, I don't think that I can wait. Um, look, would you see that he gets this when he comes back in? Sure, not at all. Everything going all right? Sure, just fine. It's good for a change. No, I own said that uh, Laurie's interview with Jean was a success. Well, for the most part, I guess. You guess? Well, Laurie still thinks that she was raped, and our assurances that she wasn't haven't really gotten through. I see. Well, I don't suppose showing her the results of the examination taken when she was first brought in would do any good. I hadn't thought of that. It might do some good. I think I'll mention it to Ben. Now, obstetrics gynecology is my field, so if you need any help. Thanks. Say, what's the latest news on Stacy? Well, you'll probably think my optimism is a bit premature, but uh, I'd say everything is going great. Now, why would I think something like that? Well, because I've only talked to her once since that afternoon in the clinic, and uh, well, that was on the telephone. But well, we are planning to have dinner together next week, though. Despise not the day of small beginnings. Well, I hope this is more than a beginning of my being a father again, though. I want the chance to be a husband to Kate again. And I hope Stacy's going to be able to help me with that. She will, I'm sure. Look, I don't care what other people say. I'm telling you the truth. I don't have it, and I can't get it by next week. Well, that's your problem. Well, look it, I know that, but I'll try and get it. I promise. All I'm asking for is more time. How much more time? A month? <laughs> You've had almost two already. Yeah, I know, I realize that, but I, it wasn't a priority. Well, it should have been a priority, shouldn't it? Yes, I know, I made a mistake. Tell me, just, just what am I supposed to tell my boss about all this? Well, tell him that I moved away and I didn't leave a forwarding address. Oh, that, that's good. Well, what can he do? Plenty. <laughs> Look, in a month you'll have your money and then you'll be a hero, okay? 
can make it worth your while. <laughs> you can, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, tell me, just what is it you're going to offer me with that big fat bruise on your face that I couldn't get elsewhere? <laughs> Don't bother listing my faults. I know I'm already. Look, did it ever occur to you to think what you might be getting involved in when you took that money? Didn't it come just a little too easy? Look, I needed money, and they didn't ask any questions, and that was good enough. Wrong. But what am I going to do now? I don't know. One thing's for sure, you're way out of your league. And that's too bad, because the guys that be calling the shots now have the same rules for everybody. But look it up. I will pay it back, I promise. You know, if I were you, I'd stop promising things and start figuring out how I'm going to get it. Because next week... Someone as nice as me may not be assigned to your tab. Okay, there you go. And you just call her if you need anything else, okay? okay thanks. Okay. Hey, Mama. I kind of got to get some decent service around here. Try another girl's station. Oh, yeah? Is there any way to talk to a big tip of that lady? I got a big tip for you, buddy. Gene! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bell. Oh, boy, I'm sorry about that. A girl just can't be too careful these days, that's all. Oh, well, no problem. Hey, look, I need to talk to you. So can you get away for a few minutes so we can talk? Sure, actually, the chances are pretty good. Godzilla called in sick today. Who? <laughs> oh, never mind. It's a long story. Here. Tell you what. Step into my office. Uh, actually, Babs, I was hoping that maybe we could have a little more privacy. Well, this is about as private as it gets, honey, unless you want to go into the ladies' room. No, this, this will do. This is fine. So how's everybody back home in Kingsley? Oh, everyone's doing fine. They're just doing fine. Oh, Harold tells me to tell you, hello. Oh. That he misses you. And, yeah, got some. He forgot to leave you a big enough tip the last time. Oh, brother. Does that guy ever quit? Well, I don't know about that. I really don't have a lot of time. Well, look, just tell him that this is only a loan, okay? Mm-hmm. Sure thing. And tell him that I'm going to pay him back, plus interest. All right. Sure, fine. Babs, look, I come all the way up here to show you something, and I don't want you to say anything or do anything that might attract attention to us, okay? Sure, Gene. Let right. me take a look at this. Oh, whoa. Oh, poor Miriam. Now, is there anything in that picture that is that at all familiar to you? I mean, can you identify anything in there that's belonging to Ronnie Washington? Oh, gee, I wish I could say that I recognized something, but no, not really. Sorry. It's not Ronnie's penthouse, that's for sure. Why do you say that? Well, because this place is kind of dumpy. And uh, his place is done up to the max, you know? Besides, I look at the look at the mantle there. I mean, there's there's not enough brick in the. Uh, wait a minute, can't be. What? Yeah, this this here. This looks familiar. Now this this music box here. This looks familiar. Where was it? Um, no. Let me think. Let me think. Uh, it plays classical music. Babs, I don't care if it improvises jazz. Where was it? Um, uh, in the country? Is that a question or an answer? Uh, well, 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 it's an answer, I think. Babs, you're not giving me anything now. What's going on? Okay, Come on. Okay, okay, I know. It's just my memory isn't so good. It's been a while. Um, gee, Ronnie, Ronnie took a bunch of us for a trip out into the country one yeah. night. He got us all loaded first. And, um took us out to this house out there. I think he owned it. Well, how far out? Oh, gee, uh, I don't know. We drove around for an hour, maybe less. Well, try to remember. Come on. Oh, Gene, I was three sheets to the wind at the time. Besides, I don't think he wanted us to know where we were going. You know, I think all that driving around was meant to confuse us. Well, why do you suppose he would do that? Well, this guy that I was supposed to entertain for the night was there for a drug deal. And I think that even though this place was real dumpy, I think it was important to Ronnie. You know, like maybe all that shabbiness was a front 
like he didn't know, want anybody to know where it was. Uh, that's all a very fine, pretty story and everything, but isn't there some kind of landmark in there that you can remember? There's got to be something distinctive about this house that you know about. Come on. Uh, I'm sorry, I just... I don't know. <sighs> Great, Babs. Oh, well, come on, Jean. I mean, I want to find her as bad as you do. I mean, unless we do, the chances are my fate's going to be the same as hers. Only they won't ask a ransom for me. like you have a whole lot else to do. Try this again. Mm -hmm. All right. Why didn't do that before? About time we see what little reward we get for all of our efforts. 